have any of you seen any of his so he is the innovator of snl digital shorts they weren't digital yeah, yeah. have you guys seen his his snl shorts funny yeah yeah right so I, defending your not defending your life real life especially reminds me quite a bit of those shorts in that he's playing basically the same character as he does in a lot of those and much like an snl sketch it seems like he doesn't really know how to end the movie and so the movie <laughs> ends with a big fireball blowing it uh, right but another thing I want, I'm curious about, have any of you seen the show Review, uh, the Andy oh, Daly yeah. show Review? Mm -hmm. So I saw that before. That came out from 2014 uh, for a few years, I think, a couple of seasons. I, I won't see it for another couple of years then. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's your pace. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's, good. But it's very dark. It's about a guy who's reviewing real life things. And then much. it's clearly very influenced by this movie uh, because his life starts falling apart around him as he's doing it. And spoiler alert for the show, sorry, Jake, I know you'll eventually watch it. He does murder accidentally his father-in-law uh, by <laughs> taking him on his lifelong dream of going in a shuttle, but forgetting to tell his father-in-law to buckle his seatbelt. Fred Willard, uh, in an amazing guest spot, is murdered by a, sh a space shuttle. And it reminded me a lot of this, where, uh, especially the horse scene, and then Andy Daly in the show is pretty oblivious to what's going on around him. It, he needs to be in order to make this show happen. And Brooks is very persuasive, isn't the word. He's manipulative to everyone yeah. around him to try to get them to do what he wants them to do for the show, which culminates in my favorite moment in the whole movie where he gets permission to go to the gynecologist um, <laughs> with the wife and the look on his face. He's so excited. He looks towards the camera and I meet a freeze frame of it. He's so happy. <laughs> and then because of his reciprocation of her kindness, she starts getting a crush on him which he doesn't want because he doesn't want to mm -hmm. be part of the family. So when she gives him a hug, he air pats her on the back. <laughs> that these part are the got two. a genuine laugh for me. The air it was so funny. I just don't see how you can watch it and think these moments aren't hilarious. One thing, though, that I think you mentioned boomer humor. I think another problem might be like what I call the Shrek problem, where everything is referenced to real life or something happening in current events. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these seem to be that. So there's the whole conceit of the movie. But then there's also when they go to the gynecologist, he doesn't want to be filmed because of all the, you know, 20, 20, 60 yeah. minutes. Nightline, I think, right? Or something yeah. like that. 60 right. minutes. It was 60 minutes. Right. Yeah. And if you don't know that, th that that was a thing, or even that like a little bit more recently, like to catch a predator was a thing or, or anything mm -hmm. like that, like a Gen Z kid watching this, I was probably not going to understand any of the references. I'm sure I didn't understand most of them. I still think he is just unbeatably funny. Mm -hmm.